Hello, hello. Hello, good night. Hi, good night, Katya. Good night, Fabricio. Good night, Hugo. Good night, Brenda. How is everyone doing? Mañana terminamos esta semana de learning. Yay. And I do want to check how you guys are doing in the platform. Como les, como les pregunté, ay, no puedo hablar. Como les pregunté por WhatsApp, I am going to go ahead and check that right now. Let's see. Me contestaron that we are doing great. Um, we are doing great. Let's see. Let's see, Dennis, Ruth, Jaime, Kathy, Emma, amazing, excellent. Alex, que nos comentó que ha terminado la section four, se nos adelantó, pero that's good porque you have questions for me and that's great. Um, esta persona no tiene nombre, pero ok. Uh, Hermina, Carla Torrento. Y vamos avanzando, right, guys? Si ustedes siguen avanzando, then that's completely fine. I do want to share this with you guys. Here we go. Que toda la section one, as you guys know, we finished it. Terminamos hasta Canton Student, como les dije la vez anterior. Y vimos todos esos modal verbs. Vamos a ver el día de hoy más modal verbs. Vamos a ver can, could, may, etc., etc. Y vamos a terminar la section 2 el día de hoy, which is really great. So you guys can continue working on section 2. Tenemos los knowledge checks. Y recuerden que también tenemos los conversations, las discussions que están en los videos. Um, de los vocabularies y de las conversations uh, so you guys can practice porque es súper importante que practiquemos y que intentemos hacer estas oraciones hablar, escribir todo eso es súper importante para que mejoremos nuestro inglés so let's see who's joining we are now 12 people tenemos a Brenda, Tenis Jaime, Emma Good night, guys. Jennifer, good night. Carla, Kevin, Carlos, Susan. Good night, guys. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, guys. Good night professor. How are you doing? How are you doing, guys? All right. We have Ricardo. Good night. Excellent. So, alguien me está escribiendo en el chat. Hi, Emma. Good night. All right, so if you guys remember, el día de ayer nos quedamos a medias con una conversation que estábamos, estábamos formando una conversation en grupitos. However, good night, teacher. hi, good night. However, I do want to ask you guys, si ustedes están de acuerdo, I do would like to move a little bit um, forward con estos modal verbs para can, could y may uh, por si quisieran hacer alguna modificación con sus conversations uh, y para que podamos terminar esta section y luego posteriormente quedarnos ahí sí terminando los um, terminando las las, 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 convers um, las conversations y que podamos compartirlas y todo eh, si ustedes están de acuerdo to say yes Yes, teacher. Is that okay? Y si, o si, o preferirían continuar haciendo la conversation. Hello. Conversation. Preferirían continuar con la conversation? Yeah. Okay. ¿Qué, qué dicen los demás? ¿Podríamos terminar los modal verbs y después nos quedamos con la conversation? ¿O prefieren irse a grupos ahorita a hacer la conversation y después con los modal verbs? Modal verbs. Ok, cool. Llevamos dos contra uno ahorita. ¿Qué dicen los demás? 
Moral verbs first. All right, cool. Moral verbs. All right. Oh, I see. Ya los escucha varios. All right. Ganaron. I'm sorry. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to move ahead and do the modal verbs. Uh, a mí sí me hubiera gustado, sí me gustaría dárselos porque de hecho estos les pueden ayudar para formar sus conversations. And they can be really good. Y así también ya dejamos la section 2 para que ustedes avancen en la platform. Ahora que se unieron más, quiero volver a recordarles. Please, 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 please. please. Um, avancen en la platform también. Recuerden que tenemos súper buenos exercises para que practiquemos y podemos ayudarnos también. Guys, um, si yo no les respondo inmediatamente en WhatsApp, no es porque no quiera. <laughs> you guys know that. Um, I am here to help you guys. However, si alguien más sabe la respuesta, nos podemos ayudar entre todos, ¿ok? If you guys know, um, no le den la respuesta, vea, pero you can guide um, your your classmates and help them all right so los modal verbs que nos faltan son can could y may previamente habíamos visto modal verbs can and should y, can, y sus negativos right they're negative forms which are can't and shouldn't we also have could y may Genial, vimos. So for that, what would be the difference? ¿Alguien sabe cuál es la diferencia entre can, could y may? Can es poder. Uh -huh. Cool es eh, podría. Excellent. And may es Well, puede que, that's correct. So, okay. es uh, lo que cambia, todos podrían ser usados como podría, puedo. Uh, la diferencia es como la, la certeza que le podemos dar o la severidad con la que lo podemos decir. For example, si yo digo, o la manera de cortesía con lo que lo podemos decir. So, I could say, Estoy trabajando yo en una, um, en una tienda, right? Y llega, um, llega Katia. Uh, ella es una cliente. Yo le puedo decir, may I help you? ¿Podría ayudarle? ¿Puedo ayudarle? Can I help you? También es puedo ayudarle. Could I help you? También es puedo ayudarle. Pero si ustedes notan, se escucha slightly different. Se escucha un poco diferente. May I help you? Can I help you? Y could I help you? Ahora. Entre could, could es el que sí se diferencia entre can y may más que de todos los demás. Porque could es algo que tal vez podría ser. Que may, o sea, que you could do it. Uh, se los voy a poner de esta manera. Um, you can go to the bathroom. Porque de poder, podés, como decimos en español. You can go to the bathroom. Like you are... Physically able, so físicamente capaz de ir, right? But um, estamos en clase, so you could go to the bathroom, pero te perderías parte de la clase. So, I mean, you could go, I guess you could go, but usually goes with something, right? As a podrías, pero you could go. Technically, you could do it. And may. You may go. I am giving permission. I am offering advice or a suggestion. You may go. Es el más suave de todos esos. So if you ask me for permission, for example, teacher, may I go to the bathroom? I can say, you may go. That's okay. So um, it's a courtesy. Es una cortesía. May I help you? May I go to the bathroom? May I offer you a glass of water? May I offer you some advice? Okay. ¿Comprendemos uh, la diferencia entre estos tres? Yes. Teacher, a question. Uh, I use can for when you say, uh, puedo hacer algo. Uncle is, podría, 
is may equal just say um, una probabilidad. Yeah, that could be. Exacto, es una buena manera de ponerlo. May lo usamos más como en forma de pregunta, right? O como en forma de cortesía. So, may I, uh, may I borrow your pen? Uh, may I use your bathroom? Me están escribiendo en el chat, veamos. Ejemplos de cuando usar could y may. Okay, of course. So, uh, escribamos por aquí. Let's see. You can say, could I, uh, uh, let's say, could you please um, stay quiet? Digamos que una maestra le dice a un alumno, could you please stay quiet? Eh, no sabemos si el alumno lo va a hacer o no, right? So, could you? Um, y may, estamos pidiendo permission, may I help you? May I go to the bathroom? Si nos fijamos, por ejemplo aquí, can I help you? May I help you? Ambos son puedo ayudarle o puedo ayudarte, pero can I help you es como am I able to help you? Eh, o sea, puedo yo ayudarle o en algo. Y may I help you es como que digamos me permite ayudarle. Es como más pidiendo permiso, es más polite, es más suave, es más, um, es más de cortesía, como les digo. ¿Sí? Y could, exacto, Carla, como tú decías, um, es una posibilidad, right? Thanks, teacher. Of course. Entonces, si alguien más tiene alguna preguntita o hemos comprendido cómo usar estos. Do we understand on how to use can, could, and may? Yes, teacher. Awesome, guys. Yes, teacher. Excellent, guys. Thank you very much for awesome. answering. So, so? A quien no le ha quedado claro? Ok, how can we make it clear? ¿Cómo lo podemos aclarar un poquito más? ¿En qué podríamos poner un ejemplo? Por ejemplo, eh, eh, el may, el may exactamente es como una posibilidad o okay. que podría. All right, All right. yeah. So, um, lo que quiero que comprendamos es que no hay una situación específica en que vamos a usarlo. Por ejemplo, ustedes no van a salir allá afuera y se van a quedar, ok, y para preguntar esto, tengo que decir can, tengo que decir could, o tengo que decir may, what do I do, what do I say, tengo que decir may, can, could, should, can't, o sea, no, sino que lo que hay que entender es, um, that it's a different level of how polite, o how you want to sound, cómo queremos sonar, cómo queremos um, abordar una situación, right, entonces Ricardo, si decimos may, ambas son para hacer una pregunta, una sugerencia, can you, could you, may you. Pero lo que les explicaba, may I help you, es como pidiendo más permiso, es como más suave, más de cortesía, me permite ayudarle, may I help you. Y can I help you, es más como preguntando, eh, le puedo ayudar, es decir, soy yo capaz de ayudarle. Eh, ¿Le puedo ayudar en algo? ¿Te puedo ayudar en algo? Y si yo le digo a alguien, por ejemplo, con could, could you uh, help me find um, my size? ¿Me, podrían, ¿Me podría ayudar a encontrar mi talla? No sabemos si la otra persona nos va a decir sí o no. Entonces el could es como más incierto. No sabemos si sí o si no va a ser. 
en, y can y may vienen a ser poder, pero con diferentes niveles como de politeness, right? ¿Sí? Sí, hoy ya entendí. Ya entendí más, más. Excellent. Gracias. Thank you. Of course. Of course. No, thank you for asking. Es bueno que hagamos preguntas porque así vamos practicando y vamos entendiendo mucho mejor los temas. All right. So now that we know these modal verbs, ahora ya aprendimos can, could, may, y aparte también aprendimos ¿qué otro modal verb aprendimos, guys? Yo voy viniendo. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you for joining. All right, so be more can, it can't, should, exactly. Should. Thank you very much. Excellent. Be more should. It should. Era it is not cool. No. Uh, so should, ya ese sí es, lo vamos a ocupar puramente para sugerencias. You should do it. Deberías de hacerlo. Este sí es directamente deberías. Se traduce directamente como deberías. Okay. Um, vemos que alguien se, está, se encontró dinero en la calle. Esto no va a pasar aquí, right? Pero bueno, um, vemos que alguien se encontró dinero en la calle y le decimos, you should return that. Deberías de devolver eso. You should return that. Uh, vemos que alguien um, no hace la plataforma y necesita avanzar en su plataforma y le podemos decir compañero compañera you should wor work on your platform you should work on your exercises it will really help you y le podemos decir eso you should es un consejo es un advice so you mm -hmm. should do it all right mm -hmm. esos son los cuatro modal verbs que hemos visto all right guys so now that we have done that Vamos a hacer, vamos a escuchar un listening. Este es un ejercicio que ustedes van a hacer en su platform cuando terminen aquí la section 2. Now, I do want to make sure that you can hear this. Solo lo vamos a escuchar y lo vamos a ir haciendo. ¿ok? Vamos a hacer este exercise juntos. No lo voy a ir respondiendo, pero sí me lo van a ir respondiendo ustedes. So, eh, lo voy a poner, díganme por favor si lo pueden escuchar, ¿ok? Si no, veamos, quiero ver. Allow me one moment, let's see if, ah, aquí está, ok. Allow me one moment. Ok, díganme si lo pueden escuchar. Permítame un momentito que no se me está poniendo. All right, mientras esto nos carga, ¿alguna pregunta con los modal verbs? ¿O alguna pregunta que tengan de la platform? Eh, eh, teacher, para poder escucharlo, dale clic en la, en la flechita ¿Sí? que. Sí, no, expandir. De arriba, en la de expandir. Ahí, sí. Mm, miren, pues. Listen to four. ¿Pueden escucharlo? Yes. Yo lo había estado escuchando aquí. Yes, sí, yes. Listen to four people. Talk to a pharmacist. Pero realmente sí está mucho mejor aquí. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. So, let's see. Vamos a escucharlo y después vamos a responder las preguntas. Vamos a ir escuchando scenario for scenario. ¿Ok? So let's listen to scenario number one. Listen to four people talk to a pharmacist. Check each person's problem. One. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like something for my feet. I went on a long hike yesterday and my feet are really sore. I see. Why don't you try some of this ointment? You can put it on at night. 
It's very good for sore feet. I use it myself, actually. All right. What was the audio about? De qué se trataba el audio? Mm -hmm. Voluntarios, about voluntarias. The men's uh, feet are feet. sore. Excellent. About sore the men's feet. feet being sore. Sore feet. Exactly. And why were his feet sore? ¿Por qué le dolían los pies? Why were his, his feet sore? I didn't hear la, uh, la for, for walk a lot. Yes, walk, exactly. Walk he lot. walked a lot. Yes, that's correct, he Denise. He went hiking. Sabemos que es hiking? Hello? Yeah, no. you can say escalar. Acampar. Eh, es, no acampar directamente, sino hiking uh, is going, as Dennis said, going for long walks. Y you go for long walks in, es, también se puede escalar, as Fabricio says. Um, so it's basically long walks, caminatas bien largas en zonas así como montañosas. Uh, hay gente que ese es su hobby. I personally don't understand but okay um so yeah let's go now for audio number two and let's pay attention to the whole conversation vamos a escuchar de qué se trata pero también les voy a hacer otras preguntas so let's listen two excuse me i'm looking for something for a stomach ache i see how long have you had this problem? For a few days, and it's getting worse. I'll give you some pills to take for a few days. They should help. Take two of these three times a day with meals. Very well. What was wrong with this woman? ¿Qué le pasaba a ella? Dolor de estómago. Dolor de estómago. Exactly. And how do we? ¿Cómo decimos dolor the de woman estómago? has. She had a stomach ache. Stomach ache. That's correct. She had a stomach ache or an upset stomach. Esa es otra, uh, una expresión que se puede usar también. She has an upset stomach. I have an upset stomach. Está molestando el estómago, right? Um, okay, and for how many days has she had that problem? Two days. How many? Today, escucho two, escucho five. Pongamos no de acuerdo. A few days. For a few days, exactly, exactly. Así se hacen los chambres. No, no dijo en ningún momento ni two ni five. She said, I've had this for a few days. No sabemos si son dos, si son tres, pero por unos cuantos días, right? Cuantos for a días. few days. Unos cuantos días. And what mm -hmm. did the pharmacist, ¿qué le dijo la farmaceuta que le iba a dar? What did, she, what did the pharmacist say that she was going to give her? A pill. Pill. Una That's correct. Unas pastas. Píldora. Unas píldoras. Good time for the... Después de cada comida, wow. creo que dijo. Excellent. Amazing. Hombre, ya. San Nicolás está contratando. Okay. So, excellent. <laughs> Let's listen to the next one, guys. ¿Qué pasó? Ok, le vamos a, lo vamos a refresh, guys. Listen to four, two. I'll give you some pills to take for a few days. They should help. Take two of these three times a day with meals. Okay, I see a bump. Three. Can I help you? Yes. I just came back from London on a long flight, and I'm having trouble sleeping. We have several things for that, including sleeping pills. But I suggest you try some of this herbal tea. It's very good for jet lag. 
Drink some before you go to bed at night. Thanks. I'll try it. I don't like taking sleeping pills. Excellent, guys. So what was this man's problem? <laughs> the man can't sleep. The man has difficult sleeping. He has jet lag, right? He has, uh, do we know that word? And alguien dice que tiene jet lag? ¿Conocemos esa palabra? No, teacher. Es un desorden de sueño por cambio de horario. Excellent, Dennis, that's correct. When we travel, cuando viajamos, and for example, cuando vamos a Estados Unidos, no hay tanto cambio, depende de donde vayamos, right? Si son como seis horas de diferencia, sí. Pero, well, uh, quizás salimos de aquí de noche y llegamos allá de noche también. So, our brain doesn't quite understand what's going on. It's tired, pero o llegamos de día, o salimos de noche y llegamos ya media tarde y ya de repente ya es el otro día y no hemos dormido. So, um, es exactamente como dice Dennis, it's a disorder uh, of your sleep and your brain cannot quite get what time it is porque hemos cambiado de time zone, hemos cambiado de zona horaria. So, it gets confused and then perdemos la hora de sueño o perdemos el horario de sueño and we can't sleep. Estamos super cansados and we can't sleep. So, that's jet lag. So, this man had jet lag, right? ¿De dónde regresaba? Where, where was he coming back from? Londres? Yes, that's correct. Coming back from London, Europe. Excellent, Denise. All right, let's listen to the next one and the last one. Four. Good morning. What can I do for you? Um, I need something for a burn. I burned my hand a little when I was cooking last night. Look here. Oh, yes. I'll give you some cream for it. After you put on the cream, place a bandage over it for a few days. You should be fine. Thanks. All right, so what happened to this person? Check him out. Yes. She burned her hand. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And what did the pharmacist give her? What did the pharmacist uh, told her to do? That's correct, guys. See you in his benches, right? So remember that we can now, we have reviewed it, this exercise, and you can do it on your platform as well. And you can listen to it. Estos ejercicios de listening son super buenos. And I, for once, I can recommend that you listen to audios yourself and try to, um, try to understand what they're talking about, right? Y nos ayuda muchísimo para la pronunciation también. Así identificamos palabras sin leerlas. And it's really good. All right. So with that, we are now done with section two, guys. That was all for section two. And what I would like to do is to continue working on the conversation that we had going. And estos Ultimos, uh, en unos diez minutos más. And then we are going to share the conversations. ¿Recuerdan con quién estaban yesterday? No sé si estamos todos los que estábamos ayer. Si alguien recuerda con quiénes estaban trabajando el día de ayer, please um, type it in the chat box. Pongan en el chat box con quién estuvieron trabajando ayer, please so that I can form the breakup rooms. Okay, that's okay. I can review it right here. That's okay, guys. I will go ahead and form. Si alguien lo recuerda, please type it down so that I can review it. I'm going to stop sharing 
Brenda y Susan. Okay, great. I'm going to go ahead and form those as I manually. Yo no pude conectarme ayer. Ok, Alex, will join Emma, pero la otra chica creo que era Gaby. Es que sí, ese es el problema, es que no estamos todos. All right, guys, I'm so sorry, but es que no estamos todos. Y si no estamos todos, no vamos a poder seguir el exercise con normalidad. So what I would like for us to do Lo vamos a preparar off class, if, if you agree. Lo vamos a preparar off class. You, can, you guys can um, arrange it con las personas con las que estamos. Les voy a pasar los grupos con los que estábamos trabajando por WhatsApp. Les voy a poner los listados. And we can finish up preparing the conversation. Y hopefully tomorrow, que estemos todos. Es que creo que ahora no se han conectado todos because of this situation, right, with the weather. Entiendo que muchos podemos estar teniendo problemas. I actually, um, se me ha ido la luz como tres veces hoy, so I understand, guys. So what I would like for us to do is, even if we don't do it tomorrow, porque tomorrow está pronosticado, apparently, que it's going to be really bad tomorrow um, con, el, con el clima, uh, is that I will share the groups with you guys on WhatsApp. And you can prepare the conversation. Ahora que ya vimos los cuatro modal verbs. And we are going to share it on Monday. Okay, so you have until Monday to prepare that. Y yo les voy a pasar los grupos con los que estábamos a WhatsApp hoy. And as for today, vamos a continuar con los contenidos. Okay, guys? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you very much for understanding, guys. So as for right now, we are done with section one. You can go ahead and finish up that on your platform. And we are done with section two. Yes, they see us listening in that, which is really great. So moving on. For this section three, you may notice that we have the midterm exam. With the midterm exam, I'm going to be helping you guys tomorrow, not helping you, I'm sorry, Pensé que les está sharing the screen. Okay, aquí estamos. Determinamos section one and section two, as you can see. And con el midterm, yo les estaré ayudando mañana. No les voy a estar ayudando a hacerlo. I'm just going to be explaining some of the parts that you may have issues with. But as for today, the name of, the, um, of this section is, may I take your order? Y volvemos. What is this? This is a modal verb. All right. So can I please have, let's see, can I please have Jennifer read the lesson objective? Um. Right here. In, in this session, participate with these two a conversation. The we do the play the where to go for dinner or where to last so to ne. Nathan and eight. Very well. Thank you very much, Jennifer. All right. So in this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people deciding where to go for dinner. You will listen to the conversation on the platform, guys. As for me today, we are going to be reviewing words as so, to, neither, and either. Those are going to be introduced. Estas dos, particularmente, I know that can cause confusion. So let's see. We have that conversation right here. And I do just want to share this very quickly. Allow me one moment. Uh, 
as you can see, we have the name of the uh, of the section, which, which is May I take your order? And we are not going to be listening Hi. to this, but I do want you guys to see this right here. We have the conversation going out for dinner and we are going to be reading it today. So can I please have, these are two guys. So we have Jeff and Bob. Can I please have Fabricio be Jeff and Denis Castro be Bob? Okay, teacher. Okay. Say, say would you like go to go to the dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it's a bit spice. Spicy. Hmm. Spice. Pardon. How do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called is Iroha. Oh, I have, I always wanted to the, go there. Terrifying, let's go. Excellent guys, thank you. Thank you very much. Let's all thank these two guys for helping us read this conversation going out for dinner. All right, so. ¿Qué palabras podemos ver que tenemos que ver según el lesson objective? Let's look for so, to, neither, and either. So we can locate them. We have them right here. We see, let's review the conversation. Jeff says, hey, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? And Bob says, sure. Where do you want to go? And Jeff says, well, what do you think of Indian food? And Bob answers with, I love it but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Jeff says, yeah, I'm not either. Here we have the first one. I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Hmm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too, says Bob. We have it right there. Estoy tapando, so lo voy a poner por aquí. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. All right. So, según lo que podemos ver aquí, guys, what are, uh, in what way are we using either and to? Let's add a list. I just want to do a quick pronunciation snap, which is neither and either. All right. So, this word, this first word, guys, this is neither. And this is either, all right? So when we are talking about either, estamos poniéndonos de acuerdo con la otra persona. And we are, when we are saying neither, then even if it's negative, like for, exa for example, wow, for example, um, we can say, um, Bob is saying, I'm not really in the mood for it today. No estoy, no tengo ganas de eso el día de hoy. And Jeff says, yeah, I'm not either. Yo tampoco. tampoco. Exactly. Exactly. I'm not either. Aquí es algo negativo. Pero either es poniéndonos de acuerdo con Bob, right? Jeff is agreeing with Bob. I'm not either. Either. Tampoco, pero, right? Joining ideas. And then if I say neither... Um, I have right here this that I want to show you. Allow me one moment. Here I have it. Mm 
Okay. I have a question. Yes. The correct pronunciation is neither or neither. Neither. Esta palabra. Okay. Esta palabra la vamos a decir neither. Okay. And this word we are going to say either. No, either. <laughs> no, no, either. Either. And either. And neither. Okay, thank you. Of course. So, for example, en estas pronunciaciones, neither am I, y I'm not either. Or well, I'm not either. All right, so I'm sorry. I'm not either. Or well, neither am I. Neither does Mary. Mary doesn't either. All right, so. Veamos cuál es la diferencia entre usar either o neither. Ambas van, para ambas estamos usando tampoco, right? Yo tampoco. Pero cambia, ¿qué es lo primero que podemos notar de cómo las usamos? Neither, neither se ocupa al principio y either al final. Neither is for a negative. Both are for tampoco. Ambas estamos diciendo tampoco. So the difference is the way that I am agreeing with the other person. Lo que cambia es la manera en la que estoy poniéndome de acuerdo con la otra persona y estamos completamente en lo correcto. Eh, neither va al comienzo y either va al final. Y eso siempre va a ser así, guys. Eso siempre va a ser así. So this is the same answer. Estas son, ambas respuestas son correctas. So we can say, person A says, I am not hungry. Yo no tengo hambre. Y persona B puede contestar, neither am I, or I am not either. Either, I'm sorry, I am not either. So it, sucede, se dan cuenta, it happens, it's okay. Um, neither am I, or I am not either. Stephanie doesn't eat meat. Can I please have Alex read the two possible answers? Uh, this one and this one. Please? Of course. Person A says, Stephanie doesn't eat meat. Can you please read both possible answers, which are this one and this one? Uh, neither does Mary. Mm -hmm. Y la otra? Mary doesn't either. Either. Okay, correct. Either. And either. Then, and either. That's okay. Can I please have Susan? Hello? Yes, teacher. Hi, Susan. So it says, Mary didn't go to the party. Can you please read both possible answers, ambas respuestas posible? Neither did I, I didn't either. Okay, neither did I, I didn't either. Okay, let's review one more. So, person says, they wouldn't like to do, the, to do his job. Can I have... Carla, read two, the two possible answers, this one and this one. Specific answer in what, what uh, question, teacher? That would be, they wouldn't like to do his job. Can you please read both possible answers? Ambas respuestas okay. posibles. Okay. Neither will I, I will either. Neither would I, and I wouldn't either. That's correct. All right. So, ¿cuál es lo primero que vamos a notar, guys? Neither always goes at the beginning, siempre va al comienzo, y either siempre va al final. Y I know you're going to ask me, ¿y cuándo lo voy a ocupar? ¿Cuándo voy a ocupar cada uno? You can choose which one you like the best o cuál se escucha mejor. For example, um, me dicen, uh, a ustedes le dicen, I didn't do my homework, no, or I didn't do the platform, no hice la plataforma, no hice mi tarea. 
uh, y ustedes pueden decir, neither did I, o I didn't either, and both are correct, ambas están correctas, ambas significan yo tampoco, ok. Uh -huh. Solo una consulta, teacher. Sí. Este, para identificar este, cómo podemos usar el either y el neither, eh, bueno, estoy viendo de que cuando es neither, I am, un ejemplo, I, I, no, I'm, I. Y en cuando, cuando queremos usar either, va siempre el not, o en, en, en negativo, el doesn't, el, por ejemplo, en... En neither usamos does y cuando queremos usar either doesn't. Exactly. Thank you very much for pointing that out. Y la razón por la que sucede esto es porque neither es el negativo de either. So, con oh. esta n al comienzo, podemos notar que neither es el negativo de either. Ambos significan tampoco, pero neither es el uh -huh. negativo de either. So, con esta n estamos hablando de qué es el negativo, right? So, no significa que todas las palabras con una N al comienzo son negativas. No, that's not what I'm saying. Pero en este caso, como este es el negativo con esta N, no, si aquí nos ponemos a poner otro negativo, neither, um, uh, neither aren't I o neither doesn't marry, es como que estuviéramos haciendo un doble negativo. Y no podemos hacer un doble negativo porque nos contradecimos, right? Es como que dijéramos... Yo no tampoco. Solo decimos yo tampoco. Right? Mm -hmm. So, solo que en español solo tenemos esa manera de decir. En inglés tenemos positiva y negativa, pero ambas son tampoco. So, you are absolutely right. Thank you very much for pointing that out. Con either, vamos a usar el not o el negativo. Mary doesn't. I didn't either. I wouldn't either. You won't either. I am not either. Y con neither... Lo usamos en positivo. Neither am I. Neither does Mary. Neither did I. Neither would I. ¿Estamos bien ahí? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Uh, teacher, una consulta. Sí. Uh, digamos, si usted no pregunta a nosotros, así como a la clase. Uh -huh. eh, podemos decir eso cada quien o sea cada quien puede responder neither I am or I'm not here yes for example um, um, let's see but you have to be agreeing with something hay que estar diciendo yo tampoco a algo no podemos por ejemplo no es una short answer no es una respuesta corta como para que yo les haga una pregunta Hicieron la tarea, no me pueden contestar, eh, neither did I, uh -huh. sino que alguien me tiene que contestar, uh -huh. yo no primero, no, I didn't, y ya la segunda persona puede estar de acuerdo, puede unírsele a la primera y decir, yo tampoco, neither did I, I'm sorry, ¿verdad? Uh, ok. Sí. Dice que esa era la, la, la duda que tenía. Yes, of course. Thank you very much for your question. Es como en español. Veanlo como en español. El tampoco. Eh, si yo les pregunto, ¿hicieron la tarea? No me van a contestar. Yo tampoco. Right? Me, alguien me va a decir, yo no, de primero. Y ya la otra persona ya le puede decir, ah, yo tampoco. So, uh, that's the way we're going to use it. Ambos son tampoco. The difference is con neither, va am I, does, did, positivo, right? And either, I am not either. Mary doesn't either. Y va al final, y neither va al comienzo. All right? Okay. ¿Tenemos alguna duda con neither y either? No, teacher. ¿Estamos bien? All right, so I am going to go ahead and ask you some questions. Of course I am. Entonces, a ver, yo les voy a decir algo and you are going, you are going to say yo tampoco to me, right? You can use neither or you can use either. 
el que más les guste, whichever you want. That's okay. So I necesito que me contesten y que you use the correct um, grammar for it. All right. So, for example, let's start with um, Dennis Manzano. All right. So let's say Dennis. Um, I even if you don't agree with me, right? Just let's use. Aún si no están de acuerdo con con conmigo, solo hagámoslo para el ejercicio, right? Um, I don't like sports. I don't know. I don't like what? <laughs> I don't like sports. No me gustan los deportes. How would you say a mí tampoco? I don't I, either. I don't either. That's correct. Very well. ¿Quién me contestó? Tatiana. Tatiana. Yes. Thank you very much, Tati. All right. So let's do another one. Can I have... Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Ahí me confundí. Vaya, como el ejercicio lo estoy viendo, es de que, que quiero ver. Eh, en, en el tercero lo, lo estamos usando con el did. Y, si, y como en este caso lo ocupo con el, con el, el do, el don't. Si yo uh -huh. quiero usar el neither, sería neither. Uh -huh. No vamos a usar el did, sino que el do. Es porque estoy hablando en presente. Then neither do I. Exactly. Excellent, Dennis. You are absolutely right. Excellent. Okay. Pues ahí me, me, me corté. <laughs> no problem. That's okay. Pero lo importante es que hicimos el análisis, right? So, okay. kudos. Thanks. Excellent. Let's see. Can I have Alex? Alex Mendez. Okay. Okay, Alex, I don't like, um, I don't like pizza. Uh, neither do I. Excellent, Alex, perfect. Thank you, perfect. Okay. All right, let's see. Um, let's see, can I have Brenda? Yes, All you. right, Brenda. So, I am not tall. No soy alta. I am not tall. Neither I am. Neither I am or neither am I? Neither am I. Excellent. Neither am I. Recordemos, guys. El sujeto va al final. That's important. Neither am I. And that's just uh, grammar rules, right? Ese sí, solo es como va el grammar. Va el neither, el to be, o el verbo de um, does, do, would, whatever it is that I'm using, y después el sujeto. All right, so let's see. Can I have Carlos, René Herrera? Excuse me, teacher. Hi, Carlos. So we are doing the exercise and... Let's see. Um, I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't go to the gym today. No iría al gimnasio hoy. I wouldn't go to the gym today. And neither would I. Excellent. Perfect. Excellent, Carlos. Thank you very much. Okay. Can I please have Denise Castro? All right, Denise. Yes, teacher. So, um, I am, I am not feeling good today. No me siento I'm bien hoy. I am not I'm feeling not good today. Okay, neither am I. Excellent, Denise, perfect. Thank you very much. 
All right. Les ha gustado más neither que either, vean. Le tenemos miedo al aire. Okay. So let's see. Can I have Aime? So Aime. Tell me, teacher. I don't want to go to work tomorrow. I am not either. I am no. not or I don't. Listen, I don't want to go to work tomorrow. I don't either. Excellent. I don't either. That's correct. Aquí es al revés con el neither. Entonces vamos primero sujeto. I, she, Mary or whoever we're talking about. Después el verbo que yo estoy ocupando o el verb to be. It being I am or I don't, I wouldn't, I won't. Eh, de ahí el either. So I don't either. I don't either. I'm sorry. All right. Let's see. Can I have Fabricio? Yes, teacher. All right, Fabricio. I didn't do my homework, Fabricio. Uh, I didn't either, either. I didn't either. Excellent, guys. Excellent, Fabricio. Thank you very much. All right, can I have Hugo? Hi, teacher. Hi, Hugo, how are you? Fine. That's great to hear. All right, Hugo, so I am, uh, I am not sick. I am not either, either, I am not either. Excellent. I am not either. Perfect. All okay, right. Teacher. Let's do a couple more. And can I please have Katia? All right, Katia. Um, I don't want to take a shower. I don't either. <laughs> I don't either. Perfect, Katia. Thank you very much. Um, can I please have Stanley? Hi. Hi, Stanley. So, Stanley, I wouldn't go out today. I wouldn't go out today. Yo no saldría hoy. I wouldn't go out today. And don't go here. All right, so I am saying I wouldn't go out today. How would you form that sentence? I didn't, I didn't go here. All right, Sally, so I would say I wouldn't either that's correct i wouldn't either y también podemos decir i wouldn't go either that's correct as well podemos agregarle un poquito más and that's fine and let's just do one more can i please have let's see can i have jennifer hi jennifer so jennifer, hi I... <laughs> Hi, I don't like to read. Mm. I don't eat. Excellent. I don't either, Jennifer. Excellent. Yes. Thank you very much. I don't either. Perfect. All right, guys. So it's 10 with three minutes. Lo siento por haberme robado estos tres minutitos de su tiempo. Tomorrow, uh, terminamos la semana número 
dos, we are going to be doing a very cute, uh, quick review of the um, of the midterm exam, which you can be doing by the end of this week. And we will be reviewing further information about all of these topics. Y ya vamos comenzando la section three, guys. So I hope that we are learning a lot. And thank you very much for sharing today's class with me. And see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, okay, thank you. See you tomorrow, tomorrow teacher. Tomorrow. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night.